I can hear you. Welcome to probably one of the mo or one of the probably videos I don't really do, but oh well. We're just gonna do. Oh, uh, me and Mateo right now are doing a series on NR two thousand three. We're just now beginning the chase for the next L Cup two thousand five. Um, yeah, let me go to my options real quick. What'd you say? We've had crazy races. Oh yeah, we've had some good finishes, crazy flips, crashes. Yeah, this race is not gonna disappoint at all. So get ready for a thriller. So welcome to Chicago Land. Um, first race Drivers of the chase. Get ready cars. for an insane, in I mean insane race. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, skip to the green flag. So right now, the people in the chase right now it's gonna be the 20, the 17, the two car, the six, <clears throat> the 48, the 16, the 88, <clears throat> uh, the um, uh, 29. I didn't say that. The 24, the 99 did not make it. He lost the cut from Jimmy Johnson. But we're green. We'll tell you further on who else is in the chase. But we're racing right now. Tony Stewart with the lead. He's been dominating this. Dominating the past couple of races here. But now, down the back straightaway for the first time. Yeah, oh, contact off a of turn number four there. Yep, as we head into the, f in the corner, the, the two car trying to chase him down the fastest lap. The 01 has it, but no, we. Oh, contact off turn number two, the 38 and the 48. Contact, big contact off of the corner, but we're still going here. Safe and sound off of the corner. Gonna get real tight back there. Oh, and a little wall goes the 22 award burden in the background. Still green. The two car has finally caught the 20. And we're still, he's still right there though. Go on board with Rusty. This is the final season. It would be great for Rusty to get one last championship. And yeah, he's peeking to the inside. Almost, I think it's to the inside. No, not yet. Hard racing in the turn one. Don't count out Mark Martin at Viagra six. Number three. Oh, real, real close to the rear bumper of the 20 car. But look at that back there. They're three, almost four wide. Let me check right on the bottom. They're sliding up, checking up the racetrack. More and more, these tires are going to wear, so. We're gonna see a lot more cars uh, slide up and wash up into the wall later into this race. So on the battle for the lead. Oh, Jimmy Johnson, really fast. And don't forget the 16. He is absolutely flying. I don't know where this amount of speed is just busted out. This is 48 between 48 team. Um, down the front straight, or heading into turn number one. What does Johnson do? Ooh, the two cars trying to go back for the second place position. After getting, after getting it taken away from Johnson, Johnson sends it into the inside of Stewart. Not gonna get there yet. Here comes the six. So here comes Martin. Martin trying to go to the inside of Wallace. Here comes the 16. He has the fastest car on track right now. This 20 car is not the fastest on track. Oh! Waltrip almost slid up into the nine in case he came. We had a horrific wreck at the Glen. Oh, out, out, out. Oh, Carl Edwards, big damage. Oh, this guy cannot get a break. He's he got man. He at Charlotte. He had the lead under caution. Brian Vickers rear ended him under caution, ending his day. Then we we headed to um the Glen. 
And he couldn't get a break there as well. Dale Jr. with damage. He's out. They both didn't make the play or the chase. Jr. Man. Uh, had an engine failure last week, so he wasn't able to make it. Oh, man. Oh, I think Carl just came down and hooked him. This is, this is, a, man, this is going to be a big lick right here. Oh, it's a oh, bad man. angle. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Look at the air oh, caught for the eight car. Golly, what an impact for Dale Jr. The 18th. What a hit by the 8-car. I mean, that man, he hit the wall hard a ton. A tremendous hit for Jr. Let's look at it from the helicopter view. And then we'll go on board with, uh... Actually, we'll look at the rear camera of the 31. But look at this. Edwards goes in high, sort of comes down, and... Oh man, oh my goodness. Oh, and Edwards almost got hit. That would have been extremely bad. And we're gonna go on board the 31 car if we can find him. I have no clue what happened to bro. But, uh. What a hit. Let's go to the rear camera. That I do have knocked the breath out of Dale Jr. Yeah, what's this? He had no clue that Carl was gonna do that. Oh my goodness! Caution's out for the first time today. And, uh... A big hit between those two. We'll be back to the green here in a second. But a uh, hard charging 48 car. I mean, he's one of the fastest cars on track, along with that 16 machine. See up there on the top left of your screen. The fastest lap goes to Greg Biffle, but the 48 trailing right behind in second. Barely a few hundredths off, or, or a few thousandths. Mostly hundredths. <sighs> but, Tony Stewart out front. We're going to skip to the green flag here. Here we go, heading into turn three. Do you still think this is only the beginning of this race? I, I say most definitely after what we've seen all season. So, yeah, I do think this so as well. Get on the edge of your seat, folks. This is just the beginning. Two cars wrecked out. <coughs> we'll see. Here we go, the green flag is out. What a jump. Yeah, what a jump by that 20 car I was just about to mention. But look at 6. 6 making a move to the inside. Rusty Wallace heading down the back straightaway for <clears throat> the first time in his restart. Biffle trailing behind. He might make it 3 wide heading into 3 here. No, he's going to stick to the bottom. Johnson, he's trying to run down that 20 car as they head onto the front stretch. Johnson's gonna try get inside. No, he can't get a nose in there. Oh, he has a big, big momentum off the corner. He almost took him around the 20 car. He was there. Yeah, he was. I think he just slid up a little bit. That made him give out. Greg Biffle still in the background. He's trailing. He's trying to get to this main pack, main lead up here. And, yep, the 48. He's trying to. He's about to probably try and get another nose in. And here, yeah, he, here he comes. To the inside of Tony Stewart. They're side by side. They're side by side for second as well. He's gonna wash up the racetrack, and he's clear. Caution! No, no, caution is not. I thought it was. Oh yes, it is out. Oh, Bobby Hamilton and uh, the four car of Mike Wallace. Guess I guess there was contact. Oh, I did not mean that. Contact off the of two or yeah, off the of two maybe. Or oh, uh -huh. down the back straightaway. It looks like Ward got yep. hooked around. Oh, he washed up into the eleven. Yeah, and then. Oh, there's oh, a little and then they got 
Oh, wow. Okay, there's more contact. And then Hamilton. And the four car. I don't know what happened to him. I guess he just had damage. Maybe, maybe they were, um, the four car went down pit road, but the, the 32 went around and, uh, cautions out for the, like, second time. Yeah, early Rex here from Chicago. Pretty calm, though, for the most part in the main pack, but look at this. Look at all these guys that are the fastest car, gar, cars basically all season on on track here in the top five. Look, you got, oh, look at Kyle Busch. We haven't seen him in a while. And uh, these laps are winding down very quick, so these guys are going to have to pounce at some time. So we're gonna go ahead and skip to the green here once again. Going green this time. Tony Stewart, will he make a move on the 48? Will he stay in his place until it's time to get greedy? We'll see. He raced them hard, almost hooked around. He almost hooked around, Tony. But we'll see what Tony has. Here we go. Into the restart zone. We're back green. Man, these leaders are getting some great jumps. Next week, we head to Darlington. Oh, and a big move by the six car. Mark Martin to the inside. Side by side for third is Biffle and Martin as they head down the back straightaway. Biffle with the edge. His car is just way, way too fast. Oh, he's going to wash up almost in the biffle. Off the corner, a couple cars bouncing off the wall. Almost another yellow there. But Johnson is pulling away. But he has to worry about Greg Biffle because that, man, he is fast. Look at his momentum down the back straight away. And here comes the 16. Well, the 48, he's just way out front. The 16. Take for second. Now all he has to do is keep his eyes locked in on that seven or 48 car. Greg Biffle, he ha he is the fastest car on the racetrack at the moment. Just so much quicker than the lead lap car. He's going 200 into the corner. Jimmy entered at 197. Man, that car is flying. Rusty almost brushed the wall. But right now, does the 16 have enough? He's trying to have a pretty well, pretty well uh, race to get some more momentum heading into the next round. But you cannot keep your eye off the um, pack behind them because they may crash at any moment, causing another yellow. You never know what'll happen. We saw it with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Almost four wide, brushing into the wall. It's Jarrett. <coughs> How bad do you think the tire wear for this racetrack is, Mateo? <laughs> yeah, Chicago and <laughs> they do not play with your tires. So you better use what you have wisely. You already see cars brushing the wall like the 19. And yeah, Mayfield won a race to lock himself in the chase. They're three wide for third but the 16 has caught the 48 he is bad fast he's got four laps we'll see what happens we've had a lot of wild finishes this season this is probably going to be another one of them yeah he had he had unsecured window placements. And three laps to go. And the gap, he, it was down. Um, 
three tenths a lap earlier. Not tenths. Three hundredths a lap earlier. And it's gone back up, but you never know. We'll see what Biffle has up this week. He's definitely faster than that 48 car. Off of the corner. I don't think the gap is closed. More. Oh my goodness, yes it has. An entire tenth game by Biffle. Biffle needs... Biffle's gonna have to... Oh, big run! I think the 48 has a problem. There's gotta be a problem with that 48 car. He was really slow as he comes to the white flag. Off of the corner! Big momentum! He's gaining! He's gonna have to make his move, though. He, he is right there. He's gonna try and run that middle lane. Biffle, oh, I don't think that's gonna work. Or maybe he's looking for momentum. Big one! Big one out of Biffle! To the inside! How to get a three! Who's gonna win it? Here they come to the line! Side by side for the win! Biffle gets it! Greg Biffle by two one hundredths of a second! Classic Chicago win and Greg Biffle. He waited and waited and finally took the opportunity. What a finish. My goodness. Great job by that 16 car. He pushed it all the way. Man. He doesn't worry. He doesn't have to worry about Darlington next week. My goodness. What a finish from Chicago Land. What a race. Great racing. Some drama, some action on the racetrack. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time at Darlington.